Hey y'all, welcome back in the shed. I'm gonna do something a little different today. Um, I'm gonna talk about something I picked up on Facebook Marketplace today. Um, I talked about previously that I was gonna start looking for some more video games and consoles. And um, one of my main reasons for getting these different consoles is so I can test out all the video games that I find at these yard sales and thrift stores and stuff. Well, <clears throat> um, I already have a PS3, I have a Wii, I have an original Xbox, and I have a Nintendo 3DS, and we have a Nintendo Switch. So today, I, well actually yesterday, I found someone on Facebook Marketplace that was selling a old N64, which is a Nintendo 64, and they had four games, three controllers, an expansion pack, and um, uh, uh, I think it's called a rumble pack for the controller. Um, so they were asking 200 bucks, <clears throat> and once I saw what games they had, I bought them. So I went and picked it all up today, and I'll show you what I got. All right, of course we have the N64 console, and this thing's been been sitting up in storage for a while. It's got a little dust on it and all, but y'all are going to find out along with me if this stuff works. Um, because I have not tested it yet. So I have the console, the power supply, then we have our, if I can get this out, we have our AV cables or audio video cables. Then we have an expansion pack um, and the cover that goes over the expansion pack. And we also have this jumper pack, which would go inside of there just like the expansion pack. And we have we have one original controller. This is an actual Nintendo controller. Then we have two of these green aftermarket controllers. I'm not sure what the name brand is on these. I couldn't find it anywhere on it. But I'm not really that worried about that um, because all I want is a I want a working console, working power supply, working audio video cables, and I need one controller so I can do all my testing. Um, this isn't going to be something I'm going to keep for gaming. It's just for test purposes only. So my idea is, if this works, is to sell this controller and one of these controllers and just keep one of them. And I'll I will probably get rid of this expansion pack also and maybe. Keep Keep the jumper pack but anyways on to the games all right i got uh mario kart 64 and i will uh, pop up some sold comps for that i can't remember exactly off the top of my head what that one's worth <clears throat> now next up we have um super smash brother all right next we have Super Mario 64, but this one right here is the good one. This is The Legend of Zelda. I think it's called Majora's Mask, but this has like a holographic um, label on it. It probably won't show up in the uh, in the video, but I'm trying to get it so y'all can see it. And this is the gold edition. I can't remember if this is called the, I can't remember if that's called the collector's edition or what. But uh, let's look that one up, see what we get. <clears throat> and here we go. Um, about $70. Um, if you had uh, one of the other Zeldas in that one together, that person got $162. Um, there it is for $74.99 plus $3.99 shipping. There's one for $60. Um, but that was a blockbuster copy. That's why it sold for less. Um, there's one for about 76, another one for about 76. So somewhere there's one for like 80. So somewhere around $75, y'all, for that game right there. Keep your eye out for that game at a thrift store or a yard sale near you. I would buy, I would pick that thing up for five or ten dollars any day. But Anyways, y'all, we'll just say 30, 30, 30, there's 90, and there's 75. So that's $165 at least 
of the $200 that I spent here. Now, if I can sell this controller, I haven't even looked up what a controller is. I'm guessing around $30. Um, this expansion pack, I believe sells for about 60 bucks. It, yeah, there, there they are for about $50, $49, $41, $50, $50, $50. So somewhere in that $50 range. So if I sell these four and this, I've got my money back. Easily got my money back, y'all. And the rest of it, you know, if I sell this controller and this controller, that'll just be profit for me. So the next big question, though, is does any of it work because y'all I have not tested any of it and I'm about to test it on that TV that TV that I picked up on Facebook marketplace last week now the VCR doesn't work but the TV does so I'm gonna hook that I'm gonna hook this thing up over there and we're gonna see if it works but before I do that I want to show y'all this game right here this is a PS4 game. It's a VR game, and it's Doom 3. I picked this up from GameStop. Um, they limited me to a quantity of three, um, and this is the first one that came in today. The other ones will be coming in, I think, Monday. But I paid 80 cent for that game right there, y'all. And I think it only sells for like 9 or $10. But, y'all, if you're paying 80 cent for it, I mean, who cares? You're still going to make 4 or $5 off of it. Let's scan it. Yeah, there it is for what four ten, so nine dollars, nine forty nine, eight forty five, eight ninety nine. You're gonna pay like four dollars to ship it, and you paid eighty cent for it, y'all. I mean, I wish I could have bought a whole bunch of those things. I mean, it's not the best seller in the world. Um, there's been a hundred and eighteen that have sold in the past ninety days and let's see there are 264 listed so it's about a 50 percent sell through rate but um y'all christmas is coming and people are buying up uh, video games so i think that was a good pickup and i forgot to mention this little thing um this is called a vibration pack or a rumble pack um this is an aftermarket one this is not the original nintendo um this one is called nitro vibe and it's made by act labs um this thing right here you would put batteries in it holds two AAA batteries you put batteries in that and it causes your controller to like rumble or vibrate when there's some action going on in a game like if you were to run off the road or bump into somebody in like mario kart or something so um being it's aftermarket i don't know it's probably worth 10 or 15 dollars not a whole lot but i did want to make sure i mentioned it that's something else i've got to test also all right let's find out if this stuff works y'all i'm i'm starting to hook everything up now i've still got to hook the av cables up but we're about to find out all right, y'all, moment of truth. Let's turn the TV on. Let's turn her on. Well, we got a red light. That's good. At least it came on. Now, what do we got here? We got Mario Kart 64. Oh, there we go. Well, that's a good sign. Now the question is, does the controller work? All right. Oh, well, start button worked. It's going to be kind of hard to do with one hand. All right. I got it set up at a little bit of an angle, but at least y'all can see. I'm going to test out and see if this... Uh, Make sure this controller's functioning. I'm trying my D pad, directional pad, it's working. Um, yep, my joystick's working. All right, we know the start button to work. Who we want to be? Yeah, we'll be Yoshi. Everybody likes Yoshi. Well, the A button works, that's good. My left and right bumpers work. That's good. All right. Let's do the flower cup. Yep. 
that button works. Right bumper works. Left bumper works. That works. <laughs> well, looks like the controller works. Now let's try another game and we'll try another controller. All right, y'all, we got one of the green controllers and we have another game, we have Super Smash Brothers. We're gonna try this thing out, see if this game works and see if that controller works. Y'all, I know this is boring stuff, but this is what you have to do. Um, you have to test all this stuff and um, I think this is a great way to get yourself a free console. All right, let's see what we got here. See if this controller works. All right, the A button works. Start button works, okay. Data. Okay, so right now I'm looking at my jumper pack. That's what I have installed, um, and I'm checking to see if that works. You can see up here the data that's been stored. So it's obviously, uh, it's obviously saving stuff on the memory card, so that's good. And my left and right bumpers are working. My joystick's working. My D-pad is working. That's all good. Person mode, first player, yeah, one player. And we'll just try it, make sure the game works. Let's see, who do we'll be? We'll be Link. We'll be Donkey Kong, how about that? Yo. A <laughs> long time since I played this game. Good grief. Let's hope I can remember something. Alright. Just making sure everything works. Yep. <laughs> yep. Alright. Everything's working. <laughs> Alright. So that one works. Alright. Let's try another controller. And another um, game. Let's see what we got. Now we have the other green aftermarket controller and we have Super Mario 64 and we're gonna try it out. Plug it in, turn it on. Hey, good sign. See what happens. And I will say that the guy I bought all this from, he said that he, he would guarantee that all of it worked, so. Well, the start button works on the controller. Let's see, joystick's working good. Feels good. Wow, he had 46 stars on this one. A button works. Joystick works good. Yep. Yep. Right bumper. A, B. Yep. <laughs> yep, everything seems to be working. All right, everything's working on that one, so that's good. Now for the main game, the one that's worth the most money. And this time we're going to throw this expansion pack in there. Um, you pretty much can't play these Zelda games like this without the expansion pack in. Um, games like this take up a lot of memory, so it's good to have that. All right, here we go. We're gonna throw this Zelda Majora's Mask in and see if it works. I sure hope so, cause that's where the bulk of my money is gonna be made. All right, let's flip it on. Oh, it's coming on. There we go. All right, I'm gonna skip through all this, y'all. All right. So select the file. So we're gonna find out where, where this guy was at in the game. Y'all, it looks like the game works good. So, make sure everything works here. Well, there you go, y'all. Everything is working so far. Now, the only thing I have left to test is that rumble pack, and I may hook it up on that original controller and see if that works. All right. 
Well, y'all, I put uh, fresh batteries in this little rumble pack right here, and I could not get this thing to work. So, I don't know. Maybe it didn't look corroded or anything, but maybe I can clean this up a little bit and maybe to go to working. But if not, I did find out that, uh, like, an original controller, um, and it works and everything. It's in good condition. They're worth about $24.99, and just looking at gray ones, you know, they're all around that $25, $25 range. Um, the two green ones I got, I really couldn't find those. There were um, actual Nintendo green ones, but these aren't. These are some aftermarket ones. Um, I'm figuring maybe $15, or maybe I could lot the two together and maybe sell them for $25. And that would allow me to keep the original controller i don't know we'll see so like i said you know i have about i think it was like 165 maybe a little bit more than 165 just in games and then that expansion pack is around 50 dollars. so if i sell all of that stuff um i will have all of the 200 dollars back that i spent and then if I possibly sell those two green controllers together, I'll get a little bit more for that. And I will have a working system with one controller that I can test any other N64 games that I get. Now, my other thought on this is, I don't know if the value is gonna keep going up on these N64 games. Um, what's to say that instead of these games being worth 30 to $50 a piece, that later on down the road, they might be worth more than that. Um, it might be worth it for me to keep these games and see if they go up in a couple of years or something. But I'm probably gonna list them, y'all, because I'm I'm not a true collector um, and I'm, I'm, I'm in this to make money, right? Um, if I get to keep some stuff along the way, that's great. You know, maybe I find some other games like those 80 cent games I picked up from GameStop. Um, maybe I find more games like that and flip them and take that money and build me a collection. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still kind of toying around with this uh, video game collection idea. But y'all, um, the main thing I wanted to show you is don't sleep on these Facebook marketplace finds. Um, I search marketplace pretty much every day for video games and vintage stuff, retro items. Um, I'm just always looking for this stuff because people are willing to meet up with you on marketplace. You know, I have people all the time that, uh, that come to where I work at lunchtime or even during a break or something like that and meet me in the parking lot and I, I buy these video games and stuff. So keep your eye out on Facebook Marketplace, y'all. I mean, there's some good finds up there. You just have to be ready to go get it or you have to be willing to meet somebody to go make that money. I mean, and, and that's, that's the name of the game. You gotta be willing to go out, um, put your neck out there, sometimes take a chance like I did with these games. Now, I went to this guy's house and picked this stuff up, so I know where he lives, you know, and he told me that he guaranteed that this stuff would work. Um, I'm, I'm gonna work on that rumble pack and see if I can get it to work, but even if the rumble pack doesn't work, I'm, I'm not going to go back over there and try to get my money from him. Now, if the console and the games didn't work, then I'd probably be trying to get my money back. But anyways, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all that, you know, what reselling is about. Um, when you find this stuff, you need to test it before you sell it because you don't want to send out some non-working stuff and have to deal with those returns. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the footage. Um, maybe you learned a little bit about video games and why I search for them. There are some good ones out there, y'all. Um, here's a recommendation for you. If you want to know what games to look out for, just go on eBay and type up there like N64 game or N64 cartridge or something like that. And go over to your filter Look for solds, of course, but just go up there and you know you can choose lowest price or highest price. Pick highest price and see what games sell for the most. Um, and 
And then you will know what to look out for. I mean, because you can find uh, N64 games that sell from $10 all the way up to a couple hundred dollars. So, and the same thing goes for uh, Super Nintendo or SNES, as a lot of people call it. You can just type in SNES game and do the same thing. Or type in Xbox and do the same thing. So, just a couple of tips for y'all. Um, hope you learned something. If you did, please click the thumbs up button, y'all. Consider subscribing to the channel. I don't know if I'm gonna continue talking about video games on this channel. It's just something new I'm trying. If y'all are interested in it, I may keep doing this, but um, I am going to continue to show you the stuff I find on Facebook Marketplace to make some money. But just trying to give y'all an idea, you know, maybe if there's something you're into, you have a certain hobby or there's certain things you collect, um, not only can you make money on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Amazon, all these places, but you can make money to fuel your addiction. <laughs> not that addictions are good, but fuel your collection. How about that? All right, y'all, I'm gonna quit rambling. I got to clean this stuff up and get some stuff listed. Thank y'all for being here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Game over now.